If you missed out on buying near protocol that is now at nearly an eight billion dollar market cap or even render that's almost at a four billion dollar market cap or bit tensor at a three billion dollar market cap or any other ai crypto then you want to watch this video because while near protocol may be massive right now there's one ai altcoin that i believe will make you way richer this entire bull run so if you've been researching for the best crypto to buy now in 2024, then you're going to love this video. I made this video over five months ago and I gave you the graph at about 13 cents. It's now at nearly 30 cents. I gave you render at about $2.84 and now renders over $9.75. I shared BitTensor with you at $162 and now it's over $456. I shared Oasis Rose with you at about 7 cents and now it's at almost 10 cents. Fetch AI at 43 cents and now it's at $2.31. Ocean Protocol at 42 cents. It's now at 97 cents. A Akash Network at a dollar and five cents it's now at over five dollars and 16 cents up over 5x veracity at 0 0.008 and this is the only one from that video that's down it's at about 0 0.0058 but i still think veracity has a lot of potential this bull run considering the all-time highs at nine cents but i also shared with you a ride chain at three dollars and 90 cents it's now at nearly eleven dollars and the final project on the list was vector space ai at 49 cents and this project's sitting at about 70 cents right now so out of 10 projects nine of them are up right now and i don't share this with you to boast or brag because we don't get everything right but the artificial intelligence space in crypto is going to be one of the most profitable sectors over the next few years and when you like these videos and you comment 777 below i can provide more information i can provide more alpha to you guys to help you make the most amount of money possible so if you're feeling blessed if you're feeling bullish then i have an altcoin gem to share with you in this video that i believe will make people a lot of money this bull run and quick disclaimer yes i do hold this project but that doesn't mean that you should in fact these videos are for education, informational purposes only. They're not intended for financial advice. You should go consult your financial advisor because crypto is very, very risky. You could lose a lot of money in these markets if you don't know what you're doing. So always do your own research and watch these videos for educational and informational purposes only. So if you believe you're going to become the first millionaire in your family tree in crypto, then comment 777 below, like the video, and let's run it. All right, bull runners, welcome back to the channel. So first things first, if you guys want to get access to this information or top altcoin picks before we make videos about them, then you want to make sure you're plugged in with our private Telegram group. Below the video, if you click show more, you're going to see email, Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram. And also, if you go to bullrunners.com, you'll get access, early access to our underground guidebook for discovering 100x altcoins so you guys can have this information right at your fingertips when you click this link right here we got about eleven thousand people in this group and so this is where we post information first we email it out to you guys and then you know we make videos about it and obviously this is all public information but we do a lot of research to help you guys better understand the markets find altcoins before they take off that way you can become extremely wealthy now crypto is very very difficult you know there are a lot of projects that aren't going to do well you're not going to have a hundred percent of your portfolio perform well but if you have a good diversification strategy into the right sectors and the narratives of crypto and then you have portfolio allocation into large cap mid caps and micro caps you could do very very well this bull run so in this video the project that we're going to be covering is called three protocol now we shared this in the telegram group it was about 21 cents right now it's about 32 cents right now the market cap is only 32 million dollars so this is a small micro cap project it's on the ethereum blockchain and it's only listed on uniswap and open ocean right now so all you need to do is go to coinmarketcap.com type in three protocol and then just add this to your watch list because in this video we're going to talk about what this project is we're going to talk about utility and use cases. We're going to cover the team, the tokenomics, any partnerships and integrations they have, their community and social media presence, and then a price prediction by the end of this video for what I think is going to happen by 2025. So let's dive into the about and talk about what 3 Protocol is and what their goal is, because their goal is to create a series of marketplaces that can serve and be utilized by the unbanked and those that are concerned about privacy and wanting an alternative to central banking digital currencies. So if we go to their website, 3protocol.ai, and you click explore, or we click on marketplaces at the top, the about says that 3protocol innovatively addresses the challenges of financial exclusion and inefficiency in online marketplaces by leveraging the transformative power of blockchain tech. It employs what's called a no KYC, ZKP, pseudo- anonymity for user privacy so i know that may seem 
complicated, but we're going to break this down in this video. So their neural network AI for enhanced marketplace integrations and tri-signature DAO governance model to democratize platform operations by using cryptocurrencies, notably their native token 3, T-H-R-E-E, -E, for transactions. The protocol ensures global inclusivity, fostering a new era of decentralized, efficient, and equitable e-commerce ecosystem. So what does all that mean? Well, let's dive into their utility and let's talk about it. So Jobs 3 is the first three protocol marketplace. It offers an employment landscape that dismantles geographical and economic barriers through a decentralized platform that connects a global workforce with diverse opportunities using cutting edge neural network AI. The platform guides users through job matching and transaction processes, while no KYC, ZKP, pseudo anonymity uh, ensures privacy without compromising security. And through its tri-signature DAO governance and cryptocurrency transactions, Job3 fosters a merit-based ecosystem for freelancers, employees, and employers in the new digital economy. They also have 3Bay, which is somewhat similar to eBay, but it redefines the online auction and sales landscape. So the goal with their entire platform and all of their products is to tap into the e-commerce markets, the ride-sharing markets, freelancing, food delivery, car sales, which is a whopping $6.7 trillion combined, and also helping bank the unbanked because more than 31% of the global population is unbanked, lacking any form of national identity, and they're unable to engage in online transactions or buy anything online, apply for different jobs. And even in developing nations, the figure rises to about 65% of adults. And when you look at the current platforms out there like Fiverr, Upwork, eBay, Amazon, AutoTrader, and like Uber Eats or Just Eat, they do not implement AI interaction directly with the user. That means that searching for products, services, and real world assets can be very difficult. For example, Amazon searches can spend hours searching for an item due to the necessity of scrolling through reviews to find answers to specific questions that you have. I've definitely been doing that where I buy off of reviews on Amazon. So users looking for jobs too on Upwork after uploading the CV are required to manually search through job specifications to find those that match their expertise, their skills, locations, working hours, and their pursuits. So how they plan to solve these problems is all marketplace platforms will use the three protocols neural network AI model. And this model uses the latest alphanumeric AI algorithms to build a real-time updated product, service, and real-world asset interface for users to interact with. So basically what this means is that a user will be asked questions by the AI model about what they are looking for, and the model will then give suggestions on what would best suit their situation. So this will radically reduce the search time required for product and service procurement, enabling three protocol marketplaces to appeal to Web2 users due to their great efficiency and accuracy at matching clients to services and products, lining up with their requirements. So the implementation of their jobs three platform, their big goal under three protocol is to transition employment and freelancing marketplaces to a decentralized architecture. And the launch of jobs3.io serves as a demonstrative model for the Envision concept. And so this is a very, very big goal. And that's what you need to have a sticky point for people to grab onto for the story behind the narrative. So you don't necessarily have to understand the tech behind it and how exactly they're going to integrate. It's just like you don't need to know how you use your phone. You just need to know that it works. The biggest thing that we have to understand is what is the business model behind this and where does the revenue come from? Because the value generation, the re revenue streams is generated by three protocol levy and service fees of user transactions for job postings and general advertising. So these revenue mechanisms are fundamental to the project's operational viability. They will also be premium subscription tiers for access to more detailed and quicker responding versions of the neural network AI models. So similar to how you'd use like a free version of, you know, chat GBT and then a paid version for like 20 bucks a month or something like that. So jobs three is going to implement a tiered fee structure imposing 10% service fee on sellers and a 5% fee on buyers. And it's much lower than the 20 to 40% fee found on Upwork and Fiverr. You guys see a lot of my videos where they're edited very well. Well, when I pay someone on Fiverr, an editor that is very, very talented, you know, Fiverr is keeping like 20% of that. So imagine getting a hundred dollars for a video or 200 or five hundred dollars for video or even a thousand dollars as a freelancer and fiverr and these companies just take off two hundred dollars for that what's the editor going to do well the editor is going to go on whatsapp or telegram and message the content creator and privately pay them through crypto because why would they want to eat in their cost with 20 percent just going to the the company and so this model is going to balance revenue generation with competitive pricing reducing the fees for sellers to 10 percent to increase market attractiveness so i absolutely love that because I deal with Fiverr almost every single week for different editors of our videos. Now they also have three taxi in comparison to the industry standard of a 26% fee charged by traditional services like Uber or Lyft. I don't know what Lyft's fee is, but three taxi reduced its fee to 10% 
So the strategic pricing is intended to disrupt this market, beat them by a fee generation model, and offer a more economical alternative to service providers. And then through 3Bay, traditional online marketplaces, they charge listing fees and a percentage of the final sale price. You know, eBay's 75 cent listing fee coupled with a 13 percent final value fee. Now, don't quote that because that might be different at the time of making this video. It might be more, it might be a little bit less, but 3Bay is proposing a reduced final sales fee of 7.5% capped to enhance its competitive edge. And then through Auto3, while platforms like AutoTrader, they charge approximately $100 per listing, Auto3 intends to have this cost, setting the fee around $50. And so if you know AutoTrader lowers their fee, then I would expect Auto3 to keep theirs competitive as well too, to attract users during their startup phase. And then through 3Eats with services like Uber Eats or uh, Deliveroo, I've never used Deliveroo, if you guys have ever used that before, charging restaurants around 30%, 3Eats plans to reduce this to about 10%. So when we click on team at the top, it shows all of their team members from the CMO, the CSO, the AI backend. So you guys can look into their their LinkedIn's here. And so one thing that I like to look for when you talk about a very techie project that has somewhat complicated terminology that's hard for the masses to understand, one of the most important things is having a docs team with experience. Also, what we want to look for is potential partnerships and integration. So if we go to their partners page, they say that 3Protocol is proud to be partnered with some of the biggest names in the decentralized space. Each of their partner brings something unique to the team. So for example, you know, their Tectum's first incubated project, and I made a video about Tectum a while ago, but Tectum's Twitter posted this on April 29th, saying that 3 is Tectum's first incubated project, and they're going to be bridging to T12 in the future, and Tectum Labs will help host legitimate utility projects, and 3 Protocol is at the forefront. They also just posted this, saying they are partnered with Play vs. X, which is a first-of-its-kind skill-based wagering ecosystem focusing on realistic sports games. And so this collaboration is going to cover support as knowledge sharing, as well as strategic engagements, leveraging each other's platforms. They posted this too, announcing a partnership with CrossFi Chain, which is a digital payment solution. And what you can expect is CrossFi has secured a $50 million grant where they will use Job3 Marketplace to advertise and attract talented developers to participate in their upcoming hackathon. And they're going to be doing a lot of AMA spaces on X for tech where they're going to delve more into industry highlights. And Diome Protocol posted this saying they just announced a strategic partnership with 3 Protocol where their users will be able to use all of 3 Protocol's marketplaces with tokens and smart contracts that run on Odyssey. They also have a strategic partnership with Hela Labs, a layer one blockchain, where their collaboration will focus on enhancing and improving decentralized identities with Hela Labs already offering multi-level decentralized identity management and three protocols, no KYC, ZKP, pseudonymous, on-chain DID. They have an audit from Cyberscope that was done last month and it looks like they passed every single one of their tests. And if we go to Dex Tools and we copy the contract address and we open up Token Sniffer and paste it right here, you can see they got 100 out of 100, where it analyzes everything from the token being a honeypot, the buy fees, the sell fees, the holder analysis, the liquidity analysis, and it passed with flying colors. 100 is obviously the best score you can get. Now from community and social media presence, their Twitter has about 10,000 followers. Their pin post from April 22nd has about 283,000 views, 1,000 likes, 2,400 retweets and 520 comments obviously because they announced their roadmap release and every single one of their posts does pretty decent. It's not too bad. You know, 17,000 views on this video that was just posted yesterday, 62 comments, 115 reshares. So they have a pretty tight knit community right now. And if we check out their telegram, they have about 8,800 members in it. So because this isn't necessarily a meme coin, you know, the social media isn't as important as, you know, the partnerships and the integrations and the utility that they're offering, but they have a pretty good sized social media following right now. And it doesn't look like any of it's fake because with 10,000 followers, the amount of engagement that they got is decent. Now, if we look at Dex Tools and we talk about their tokenomics, with a market cap at $31 million, the liquidity is 868K, but 99% has been locked for 17 months. And also 15% has been locked for about 17 months through the Floki Locker, which is cool. So $2.25 million worth of team tokens have been locked and that's about 15% of the supply. And in just two days after launch, the team already locked up over $3.5 million worth of liquidity. So what you see on Dex tools isn't actually accurate. So this needs to be updated right here. But the total supply is nearly 100 million tokens and it's all in circulation right now, which is awesome. There's nearly 2,000 holders. There's over $2.5 million in 24 hour trading volume. The all time high is about 46 cents. So it's seen a healthy pullback right now. And so the zone that I'm watching for as support is roughly between 18 cents and 22 cents. And if we see a potential deeper pullback for Bitcoin the rest of the 
market. This is the zone that you want to watch right here. Also, the RSI is sitting at 43. So if we get more in oversold territory, it would be the lowest that the RSI has been since launch. And this project just launched at the end of April. So literally less than a week ago. So you guys are hearing about this first. And considering that this is Tectum's first incubated project, Tectum's market cap is about $125 million market cap. So if Tectum does well the rest of this bull run, which I believe it will because Tectum has the fastest blockchain out there, then their team is going to do everything in their power that they can to help three protocols succeed. Now, in terms of the rest of the tokenomics with 100 million tokens, 15% for the team is already locked away. They airdrop 0.5% to Tectum holders, 74.5% goes to liquidity, and then 10% for staking. So the team tokens were vested for about 18 months without any cliff. Why? Because they want their team's goals perfectly aligned with the long-term success of three protocol. So they're not just like dumping on any pump that happens for the chart and then to create an incentive for long-term holding they have their staking program so another 10 percent goes to you the user to stake their tokens so it not only helps secure the network but also lets you participate in their dow governance and then they did a public fair launch where a whopping 75 percent of the total supply was dedicated to their liquidity so if you hold 200,003 tokens or more you get access to governance privileges where you're gonna have a voice in the operations of all three protocol platforms so the type of marketplaces that are going to exist through this platform are by participants by products by industries and by focus so they have c2c which is customer to customer b2c business to customer b2b business to business and then p2p which is peer to peer so they're able to hit the market from every single angle and all they need to do is just pull off one of their products and even from the roadmap alone and from their goal and their vision it's so massive and it's so large that that alone is what's going to drive investor interest into a project like this. So in terms of a price prediction, what we would need to do is take the circulating supply and multiply that by the price. And that's how we get the market cap. So if the market cap is $32 million and all of the max supply is in circulation, well, if we take a hundred million, multiply that, you know, by the price that gets roughly the market cap. Now, obviously it needs to update right here, but let's just say in order to get to a hundred million dollar market cap, well, that would put the price at roughly $1 because if we multiplied a hundred million that's in circulation by one, that would give us a hundred million dollar market cap. So it's very, very simple to go to a billion dollar market cap. That would put the price at roughly $10. So that'd be roughly about a 30 to 35 X from here to get to a billion dollar market cap or $10. Now it's tough to say exactly what a project like this will go to because they have such a large vision. And if they pull it off, it's very well possible. But for where it's at right now, at only a $32 million market cap, considering the fact that the total altcoin market cap is only at $1 trillion and the all-time high is at 1.7. The CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, predicted the market to be over $5 trillion for all of crypto by the end of this year. Three Protocol is doing something that I've never seen before in the industry. So I can see this project doing anywhere from a 10 to a 50X this bull run, potentially even higher. So that's why I personally choose to hold this project in my portfolio. But that doesn't mean that you should. You should always do your own research, consult your financial advisor, because you know these videos are for educational purposes only so if you want to get exclusive access to our underground guidebook for discovering the next 100x altcoin or heck even a 50x or a 10x if that would change your life then all you need to do right now is go to the link in the description below bullrunners.com you don't need any previous crypto trading experience all you do is you click the button on the page put in your best email address and you'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter where we give you the best to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy because we believe the spending power of the dollar is just going to keep going down in value that's a fact based on inflation blockchain technology distributed ledger technology cryptocurrencies they've been going up in value over the past year that's the truth and together you know where we're going we're going camping on the beaches of the moon so i will see you guys on the next video i will see you on bullrunners.com as always you know what to do stay bullish <laughs>